April 18th of 2013, and I know tons of fans have always wondered this as well, you announced via Facebook and Twitter that you were actually leaving Sum 41. And one of the biggest questions is throughout the years is why did you actually decide to part ways from the band? Uh, if you don't, if you don't want me asking, I do know it might it might be a touchy subject. No one really knows the real reason. So if you do want to skip it, you definitely can. No, I won't. I'll, I mean, I'll say like honestly, as, you know, Cone is a diva, and I couldn't handle dealing with <laughs> with his bullshit anymore. To be honest, I'm kidding. Cone's lovely. I'm just joking. <laughs> I I don't know I I, I listen I, it was it was a weird time uh, and I guess for me I mean without getting too deep in it I mean I had a baby at home I had a family at home I had a new like little tiny person and I think for me personally I was burnt out like you said all the touring all the partying, all of that stuff had kind of, for me, I'm not going to speak for anybody else, had just gotten to the point where at that time, I just wasn't happy anymore. I was kind of like, this isn't bringing me joy anymore. I'm just kind of unhappy with where I'm at. Uh, and, you know, I had this little dude at home and I just kind of was like, okay, I'm going to do that for a while. Uh, I would like to focus on that. And so, so I did, and I didn't. I didn't uh, play for years. Like I was so burnt out that I mean, I didn't even play the drums for about eight years. With one exception, I played three shows with the Vandals because if the Vandals call, I'll go right. Uh, and they went through the roller deck. Okay, Josh is busy. Brooks is busy. Byron's busy. Adrian's busy. Like they finally got to me. They're like, Steve, can you do it? And I said, Yes, I'll do it. Where are we going? They said, We're going to Cleveland. I said. Where else are we going? They said, we're going to Hawaii. I said, I'll do that one. So I did Hawaii. And then I did three shows with them in Europe. Um, <clears throat> and that was the only time I touched a drumstick in eight years. And then, you know, I mean, I just wasn't involved with it at all. I wasn't into music at all. And I didn't think I'd ever play again. And then, you know, we moved to Australia and, you know, the pandemic happened and I was like, what can I, like, what am I going to do? <laughs> and we had like a, there's a basement at this house. I was like, oh, that's kind of a good place for a drum kit. So I bought a drum kit and then I sat down behind the drum kit and I was like, oh man, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> it's like, it had been a long time. And also I just, I was really rusty, but I think, you know, I wanted to get back into it because I think there's a lot of things I wish I could have done back in the day. And now I was like, okay, I'm going to try and rectify that. I want like now with the internet and YouTube and everything, you can learn all this great stuff. So I kind of got back into it just for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's fun to get back into it now, but the reason why I left back in the day, I mean, I just, for me personally, like where I was at, I just was like, I, I just don't think I can do this anymore. At, at the time, I just couldn't.